Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and a little mini review on the new Smashbox Cover Shot palettes. I'm actually going to be using the one called Ablaze, and this one is full of really warm neutrals and also some vibrant orange and red and burgundy colors. So I'm doing this kind of dramatic orangey brown look. I wanted to do a very warm brown look. I haven't done a brown at base look in a really long time so I thought that this would be good for this video. If you guys don't want it to be this dramatic I will show you some ways that you can tone it down just a little bit if you want. I also paired it with kind of a darker nude matte lip. I just wanted to also show you the other ones that I got. These are actually in collaboration with Shea Mitchell which is really cool. I'll plan on doing tons more looks with these. I want to do one using each one of these palettes. The other one is called the Bold Eye Palette and this one has some bright rainbow neon matte colors. This one is really intense. I don't know if I'll end up doing a tutorial using this one or not, but um, it's definitely very bright and vibrant. This one is called the Smoky Eye Palette, and this is really pretty because it has some jewel tones in it. I love that emerald green color and then that purpley jewel tone. These are all very shimmery except for the top ones that are matte. This one is probably the most neutral one. This is the Soft Light Eye Palette, and this one just has a ton of really romantic, soft, neutral colors. It has a really light lavender and some pink colors and just tons of really nude, natural looks. I can definitely see myself doing a ton of looks using this too for more daily wear, but I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic. This would be great, I feel like, for the fall because it has some very warm colors and also the winter as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm first starting out with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I'm just using this as an eye primer and a base just to prep my lids for the really vibrant shadows that I'm going to be using. I'm first starting out with a shade called Torch and I'm just using a Sigma eye shading brush to pack this all over my lid and blend it out. With that same brush, I'm picking up the shade called Siesta, which is a really pretty rose gold color, and I'm just going on the inner corner with that. I'm also kind of layering that back over the orange, just to tone it down a little bit and make it appear more warm instead of so orangey. Now using a synthetic blending brush, I'm picking up the shade called Throwback, which is a really pretty burnt orange brown color, and I'm just going all throughout my crease with this. I'm focusing a lot of it on the outer corner, but just blending as I go and working my way up my brow bone a little bit. Now for my brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the shade Relax and I'm just blending out that crease color with that as well and this just helps tie everything together. It's a really pretty matte light pink shade. Then I'm applying the shade Moccasin using the eye shading brush and I'm just going on the inner corner to brighten everything up a little bit and also taking that onto the lower lash line just on the inside of my eye. Now using a small tapered blending brush, I'm picking up the brown shade called Dark Horse and this is a matte brown. I'm just using this to deepen up my crease a lot. If you have that orange shade underneath the brown, it really makes the brown appear more warm. And then I'm just going back and forth between that color and what's left on my other brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now I'm just taking that same matte brown on a pencil brush and I'm dragging that onto my lower lash line to tie everything together so it's not too heavy on top. Then I'm just going back over with some of that really light shimmery color on the lower lash line. Now I'm using my Tarte Clay Pot Gel Liner and I'm using my favorite winged eyeliner brush from Sigma and I'm just creating a pretty small wing with this and I'm just going to take it all the way to my inner corner. Now I'm taking a brown eyeliner pencil. This is the Julep Win Pencil Met Gel, and it's just a dark brown shimmery eyeliner. So I'm using this on my waterline. I thought the brown would be nice just to kind of tie everything together and make it appear a little bit more warm on that lower lash line. I'm just taking that onto my waterline to make it appear very just dark and dramatic. Then to soften it a bit, I'm just going back over it with that pencil brush. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I like to do one eye at a time and then apply mascara. That way it really holds the curl. For mascara, I'm using Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I recently did a review on this. I will link that down below, but it's a great mascara. It's very dramatic and it gives you a lot of volume and length. For 
For blush, I'm using Amaretto by Becca and Jaclyn Hill from the Champagne Pop Collection. I really love this blush because it's just very neutral and it's kind of like a brownish pink so it ties in with this look really well. Just using that Becca highlighting brush to apply this to my cheeks. For my cheekbone highlighter, I'm using the Artist Couture. This is the Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati, and it's a really, really shimmery mineral highlighter, so it really packs on the color. It's like a rose gold champagne color. And finally, for the lips, I'm using the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. This is in Bestie. This is my favorite matte nude lip color. It stays on a really long time, and they're very moisturizing. My lips don't get too dry with this. And I thought this color was perfect since it's that brown tone, but it's not too dramatic since it's pretty nude at the same time. And that is it for this makeup look. I'm so happy with how it turned out because it's still very warm and orangey, but it's not too dramatic like wearing orange shadow. It definitely looks more like a brown smoky eye. So that's it for this eye makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know in the comments which one of these palettes you want to see me do some looks with. I'll have all the palettes listed down below if you're interested in them. And I'm also going to put all the products that I used on my face for this video on the blog post that goes with this video. That'll be the first link in the description box below if you want to check that out. I'll also have photos of the look if you want to pin them on Pinterest and save them. So don't forget to enter my giveaway that recently went up where I'm giving away a David Curl curly hair product kit and also a makeup kit from Laura Geller. So make sure you enter that. I'll put that video down below if you're interested. So that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye everyone.